Hey there and welcome back to Sleeve M. Today is a very exciting video. I am thrilled to share with you what my weight loss journey has been um, by giving you the statistics, the actual numbers of where I'm at. I have definitely come in to a new self with this procedure. Um, my mind is really adapting a lot better now to the diet changes, to eating in general. Um, without having any food restrictions, I feel like a lot of my mental issues had gone away and I feel like most of those that I was having before, the thoughts I was having was just really knowing that I couldn't have certain foods. When they say that you can't have something in life, to me it just makes me want to have it more. But now that I have no food restrictions, it's amazing how much um, I could have anything I truly wanted if I really wanted it. Um, obviously, my dietitian has worked with me in regards to the amount of protein I'm supposed to be getting, um, really a reduced carbohydrate diet, and I've talked about that in past videos, but um, people have brought stuff into work like cupcakes, cookies, bagels, and I haven't even wanted any of it. Um, I see them up there, and back in the day, I used to always have one for myself, and I think most people in the office do. And I don't even want anything like that. I am very focused on just getting my protein. Um, I feel like any bread products would fill up my stomach too fast and make me feel uncomfortable. So I'm only focused really on the protein, getting all that in every day. And that's made me feel really good. I've increased my exercise. Um, I'm back to belly dancing. Things like that have started to come back into play. and. It's really exciting to be doing all these things again and I plan on just increasing everything more and pushing myself every day um, and all that kind of mental changes that have been happening with me have really paid off I consider my first my initial starting weight to be on January 3rd which was the day I went in for my pre-op procedure I weighed in at 378 which is probably one of the highest weights I've been um, I did it right after the holidays. I went through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then I, of course, had to eat at some of my favorite restaurants um, before I had my procedure. And it's crazy because my mind tells me that I don't even really want to go to any of those restaurants that we've been to. I do enjoy going out to eat with Daniel just because I feel like it's a time that we typically both put away our phones and we communicate with each other and just enjoy each other personality but the food is definitely not the most exciting part of basically anything in my life anymore which is just odd because it used to be so high up there for me and priorities you know I think once I would finish one meal I would kind of think about what I'm gonna do for my next meal and now I've just been packing my lunch every single night putting it all together so I don't even really have to think about it and they're pretty basic things they're just leftovers and stuff like that um, and then I use that gem pro protein which I love if you haven't had the gem pro protein and you've gone through this and you're looking for something to increase your protein with that is the best out there that I found the other ones were just disgusting but um, so everything has been good so starting off at 378 and then the last time I checked with you I have been down 36 pounds and now after two months of this, um, I weighed in this morning today at 327, which is a 51 pound weight loss. And it just blows my mind. I would have never guessed I would have lost 51 pounds um, in two months. Typically when I lose weight, it's very small amounts. Um, I usually do one to two pounds a week and this is definitely over exceeding that. When I went in for my six week follow up, they told me that they were really amazed by how well I was doing. Um, they said a lot of people that did theirs after January 1st have really been having high numbers of weight loss. And I said, well, maybe that's because January is kind of the time where you want to, you know, it's like you want to get those resolutions going and this surgery really helps you achieve those. So in one month, since last month when I checked in with you, I'm down 15 pounds. They expect, they said about 10 pounds a month. So they said I'm over the bell curve. They did not seem concerned because I was really 
really shocked and I was like, am I losing too much too fast? Like, is this true weight loss? You know, I was nervous and they said, no, we're happy to see this. This is great numbers. Um, keep it up. Um, and I don't have to see him for three months. So I'm really excited about that to have just kind of some time for me to continue to figure things out, kind of accumulate more questions for them. So when I go in, I can um, ask all those questions, but I have definitely at work, especially patients coming in have been noticing and saying, Oh, have you lost weight? And these are people that I did not tell that I went through the surgery. And I'm like, oh yes, I did. I cut off my stomach and now I'm losing weight like crazy. My thoughts on food have changed. And I, right now at two months out, can say, I really am happy that I did this procedure. I was really skeptical going into this. I know um, kind of in the videos, I try to stay really positive. But there's always a thought in the back of the mind that, am I crazy? Like, should I be doing this? Why can't I just lose it with normal weight loss? And now that I've had the procedure, I am completely grateful. I feel like it's working phenomenal. And I don't really know that I would be doing this. I can tell you this is a whole different feeling than any diet I've ever been on. And I don't think any diet I've ever been on um, could ever match to how I feel on this. So I all around just thumbs up everywhere for doing this surgery. <laughs> it's been great. Um, I should probably thank Dr. Schneider and everybody at Rose Medical. They've been super supportive and super helpful with helping me go through this and I'm really, really happy I did it. And with that being said, the next part I wanna show you the day I went into surgery, which I weighed 366. 0.2 pounds, but I always think you have to remember this is after a two-day liquid cleanse So I don't feel that that really truly is my initial starting weight just because I hadn't had anything to eat Just liquid protein stuff like that two days prior And this is Daniel's favorite part to film I'll give you the side-by-side -side of what I look like the morning of going into surgery and then also what it looks like today I don't think that there is too much of a change. Again, I think it'll take a few more months for you to really see the drastic amount of weight loss, but I promise you I'll keep working on it. But I have to say these jeans that I'm wearing, I'm probably no longer gonna be wearing anymore. They're very baggy. They start to fall down. These are a size 28. They're probably the biggest pair of jeans that I own. Um, and they just really don't fit anymore. Um, I think I'm narrowed down to like a 26, 24. I wore a pair of 24s that yesterday that I hadn't worn in a long time and I was really excited. Um, once I get below the 24 though, I don't have any clothes that are smaller than that. I don't have any 22s and stuff like that. So that might be when I have to go shopping, but right now I'm still kind of um, going on some of the clothes I had before. I fluctuated in weight. Um, quite a bit in my life and so sometimes things fit sometimes don't I'm glad I didn't throw any of the things that didn't fit away but I'm not gonna be afraid to throw these away when the time comes probably not these specifically because I use them for filming and but some of the other clothes that are getting a little bit baggy I have some scrub tops that I can't wear anymore because they're too big so I'm down to smaller ones and I'll probably have to get some scrub soon because all my pants are a little bit too big and that is just so exciting to me. So without further ado, here are the side-by-sides. Um, this When I started out, my neck had measured at 17 inches and now it's down to 16. My bust started out at 52.5 inches, is now down to 52. My waist has gone from 54 inches to 51.5. My hips have gone from 63 to 60. My left arm started out at 21 inches and is now down to 19. My right arm started out at 21 inches, is now down to 20. My right, or sorry, my left thigh has stayed the same at 36 and my right thigh has remained the same at 35.5. So this week's biggest loser is the waist. It's down two and a half inches. Again, my hip 
overall is the biggest loser. It's down three inches, but the last time we checked it was at 60, so it hasn't changed much. So um, things are getting smaller. Things are going better than expected. Um, I think now I've really got into a groove of how to work with this and how to deal with this. Um, going out to restaurants, it's been a lot easier to figure out what I'm going to eat. And my activity levels up. Um, I had my day off the other day, Guinness and me took a really long walk and it was super fun and he loved every minute of that. And things like that have really been awesome just to spend more time outside. It's springtime, it's getting beautiful and I'm loving the weather and I just can't wait to continue this journey. So again, the next weight check will be at three months. I know it will feel like forever, but I really wanna focus on how I'm feeling and my struggles and the ways that I'm adapting to this. I think that's really more important, feeling good inside than number on a scale. Although it feels good to know that the number just keeps going down. There's been no stalls yet, but I would assume, and I know I said this in the last video, I would assume that things would slow down a little bit more, probably more around the 10 pounds of weight loss a month, but I'm really just going to continue with what I've been taught and what I've been doing, and so I am expecting it to still to go down, um, you know, and not remain stable. So thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this. Um, feel free to subscribe. I post weekly videos on either Sunday or Monday, depending on how fast the internet is. And um, I'll be back next week with another episode. Till then.